dritta, 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 dritta. So I bought this uh, Native Union wireless charger. This is a drop, which is like a hockey puck that sits on the table surface. And this is a dock wireless charger. It's a stand. The package is well designed. Both are made in cardboard box, and that is 100% recyclable, so that's good for the environment. And included is a simple booklet on the instructions. Both of these units come with braided 6.5 feet cable. The cable has a leather strap keeper. On one end of the cable, you have the uh, standard USB. And the other end of the cable is a USB-C. And it's a USB-C side that connects to the charger. Now, neither unit come with an AC adapter. This is a Native Union drop. So on the surface, you have this uh, hard woven cloth with uh, rubber patterns. On the touch is both uh, soft and sticky. There is a light in the front of the unit. So once you place iPhone, it's charging, and then you can see the light turning on. And once you remove, the light turns off. This is a dock. So it is a vertical stand. The surface is made of uh, woven fabric. It is soft to the touch. The stand is made of ceramic or towel-like material. It is very heavy. The whole unit weighs about two pounds. And on the stand, there is a rubber surface where the phone sits. And there's also a rubber surface in the back where the stand touches your table. Charging cable loops through the stand. is connected to the rear of the unit. The dock can charge your phone both in the horizontal orientation and also the vertical orientation. The light on the dock is actually on top of the unit that's kind of hidden behind front surface. So if you're looking at it from the front, you actually cannot see the light. These are the first Native Union products I've handled are really well built. It's actually very clean. So you can see that there's no logos and I think this is great. It's kind of like an Apple product. You pay a premium for the quality. So everybody has to decide if the quality is worth the cost. I got these units at the Apple store. I got it through my company with a 40% discount. So that was a great deal. Now the Apple iPhone max charging capacity is 7.5 watts. So these packaging actually state um, is 7.5 watts. However, based on what I see on the rear of the unit, I believe these will charge at 10 watts. So these are just uh, regular Native Union water chargers that can work with both iPhone and Android phones. Neither of these units come with an AC adapter. So you either have to use a USB outlet on your computer or provide your own AC adapter. For Apple users, if you have Apple iPhone, you might have this uh, travel charger. So the travel charger is only rated at five watts. So if you use this, you will not be charging at the maximum capacity. On the other hand, if you have iPad, you might have these 12 watt chargers, and this will allow you to charge at the max rate of 7.5 watt for the iPhone. If you use a case with your phone on the wireless charger, the case must be less than three millimeters for the wireless charging to work. It is very hard to determine which cases work and which do not because there are so many different case manufacturers and models out there. So let me sh just show you a few samples of um, what worked for me. And then you can check the specs to see uh, if your case is similar to what I have here. I know for sure this works. So this is iPhone XR. And this has a matone silicone case with reinforced bumpers. This is iPhone XR Apple clear case. This is iPhone 8 Plus Apple leather case. And this is iPhone 8 Plus, also the matone silicone case with reinforced bumpers. Here are a couple more cases that I know works with wireless charging. This is for the iPhone XS. On the left is male prox glitter case. On the right is Apple silicone case. And I will link these products below. 
you might check the specs to compare to see what cases you might have and whether you know your case might work or not.